Good afternoon, good afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen in the radio land. Today is another edition of Platform for Education on Liberian Radio and Television Network. Our topic today is low motility. Low motility. You know what? Low motility. Low motility. That's what we are going to be talking about today. Low motility. We're talking about low sperm count. All right? We're talking about low sperm count. That's what we'll be talking about today. Man infertility is most of the time is most of the time characterized by low motility. All right, that's what we'll be talking about today. That's our topic. <clears throat> you see over there, low motility platform for education. Your host is Demon Spay. Okay, all right. I want you to look at that low motility. That's what we'll be talking about today. Low motility. Okay? All right. We're saying that low motility means the inability of the the inability of The inability of the uh, sperm to move faster. The sperm to move faster to the egg in order to pregnant the egg. Alright, if the sperm cannot move faster, sometimes you will hear the word low sperm count. Many of our friends <clears throat> in Radio Land, it can be, I don't know, green, yellow, white, me, everybody men all right one they get into this particular uh stage and they want to have a baby all right they cannot have the baby they will be producing this the testicle will be producing sperm correct the sperm will be produced all right the testicle is responsible for producing the sperm the sperm is being produced very nice. You deposit, the man deposited the sperm into this vagina during sexual intercourse. All right? But for the sperm now to leave from the vagina and enter into the womb, then go into the tube. Then when they get into the tube, it will see the air coming. It means that that woman is ovulating at that particular time. Ovulation means the air is leaving from the ovary and it coming into the womb. Now, it takes about a week to do that. Now, if the egg is leaving the ovary and traveling through into the womb, in one week, if that egg is not confronted with a sperm, then the air will come into the womb and it will be shared as menstruation but if for any reason during this period of ovulation or the movement of this egg from the ovary traveling through the the tube the ovarian tube okay and coming through and it meet up with the egg it meet up with the sperm the sperm will pregnant that egg right there all right so it happened that majority of men today in marriages we say oh yeah this man married this woman and they had children but most of the time those children are not for the married man those children are not for married men that's why most people are there are being careful today when you marry and the woman get pregnant or you got a girlfriend the woman is pregnant you want to make sure whether or not actually this baby is yours 
if this baby, if this woman delivered the baby, you want to make sure if this baby is yours. So you had to go and do DNA. But other than that, majority of babies are born into this world today are not for the married man or are not for the intended, intended father. You see, it's because the man uh, is is infertile. Okay, he's not he's not fertile. In other words, he has low motility, so he cannot he cannot, you know, the sperm cannot move faster. The sperm cannot pregnant an egg. If the sperm cannot pregnant an egg, what going to happen? That means they are going to not, is, there will be no baby. Baby is not going to be formed. All right? So this is what many people got. All right. Now we want to talk about what are some of the causes in men. In men. It's not all the time, oh, I'm with a woman and the woman can't burn. Oh, I'm with a woman can't burn. Like, why you think the woman can't burn? Oh, you think nothing wrong with you. All right. Ain't nothing wrong with you. Don't blame the woman all the time. Let's go to the fertility clinic. Bring your sperm. Let's put the sperm on the scope and see the movement. The movement will be, we will be told by the machine how far they are moving. Sometimes they'll say, you got low sperm count, you got less than 25 million units of low sperm count. If it is above that, it is good, but below that 25 a million unit then you you don't have that it means the sperm are not that much and second is not moving faster okay so if it is it is low that means it does not move faster all right it does not move faster to pregnant the egg so don't always blame the woman do not always blame the woman and say that this lady do not have is the one that can't born, that the woman cannot born. No, that's not the way. It's not the right thing to do. That's not the right thing to do. You know what you do? Take the lady, you'll go to a fertility clinic. All right? They will know, they will test the woman uh, progesterone. They will test a hormone. They will test her uh, 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 estrogen. Then they will test your progesterone, your test, your, your, your testosterone. Then... They will check your sperm count to know how much and how fast these things are being produced. All right? So when you test these things, then they come back and say, okay, both of you are in good shape. The woman can born. Yes. The woman is producing a virus A every month. And because there are no sperm there to pregnant the air, that's why she share it as menstruation. You see that? Now, on the other hand, they say man is is is, is you know uh, depositing the amount of sperm, but the only mistake you're making is you are not having intercourse at the time of ovulation. You see, when you want to have a child, having a sex at the time of ovulation is the best time to to have a child. Then you're playing on that. The time the woman is overlating, the woman is overlating at that time, that's the time you can have sex. You just have once, one time, you have sex one time, and that's it. Pregnancy has occurred right away. You know, you don't have to sex every day, every day, every day to say, oh, I got a pregnancy woman. I got, no, 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 it doesn't go that way. Just know the time. You see, most of our Liberian men know the time. Of having sex, if you intend to have a baby, know the time. If you don't know the time, you are not going to pregnant this woman. All right? And you will miss it. And when you missed it again, that month will go by. The woman will start having menstruation. Then you will say the woman is, she's the one not doing the right thing. That's not the right thing. You are not, you also missing it. You see? So, now, we come to final. What can what are some of those things that can cause low motility in men? All right. We said the, some of the things that we talk about is heat. Heat. 
hit when young boys are like 18 years of age, 20 years of age, around 25, always taking your bath with hot, hot, hot water. And you know why? Sometimes they have this, uh, what we call scabies on the scrotum. Is it scabies? <clears throat> That's the kind of itches, ratchets on the scrotum. And when you are bathing and you got scabies on the scrotum or on the on the penis, and you put a and you turn on the hot water, you can sit under that hot water for almost two hours because it feels so good that you got that scabies and a itching. The itching will be the hot water will be soothing on that. You see, but. You get that hot water is getting on you, but you know what you're doing? It's causing some damages. It makes the testicle hot. It makes the screwdown hot. And when the screwdown is hot, you know the skin of the screwdown is very thin. Then inside that screwdown, there's a two C's in there. And that two C is so soft. That's the place the sperm is made. Now you go there now to to start putting because you got this uh, 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 scabies, these ratchets, and it itching you. You turn on the hot water, you sit on there, and it it is it, is beating on the scrotum. You, the motility, you cause low motility. You cause the sperm to die. Many of them will be very weak. They will not move faster. Men or they will be very weak. That's why when you are young, you come in, you are in your 18, 20, around that time, you don't take bath with hot water, okay? You don't take bath with too much of hot water. Try to make sure that you, you take bath with, you know, body warm temperature, all right? Too much of sex. You sex so much on day, you can't spurn no more. You can't even spurn me, you can't discharge. You can't discharge no more. All right, that will not bring bring you a baby, and it cause why? It cause low motility because the more you sp the more you say, the more you uh, activate the testicle to start making sperm. It's just like you eating a lot of salt. You see, you eating a lot of salt or you eating a lot of sugar, and the more you eat sugar, it cause the pancreas to start making more insulin to bring those sugar. From your blood into the into the into the cell for the, for you to have energy. So when you keep doing it that way, keep doing it that way, you will cause diabetes. You see, so if you say so much, it can cause low motility because you overwork the testicle. It will not function properly. And another one we think about is we will say stress. If you are, let's say the man want a job he does not have a job he will not even eat breakfast in the morning breakfast in the morning is very good it is nice to have breakfast in the morning okay you can have tea you can have orange juice apple juice coffee you know and oatmeal bread once in a while baking okay in the afternoon you have some uh, green leafy vegetable salad and have uh, either bread or rice, okay, or uh, with some chicken or grilled meat or something like that. Uh, those are nice type of diet that will keep you up. You see, those things are not something cholesterol and other things like that. They're not going to create cholesterol. You see, when you have cholesterol, you don't know what part of the body the cholesterol is forming. The cholesterol can form in the artery that leading to your penis. And if the cholesterol block that artery, you will not have erection because if you don't if the blood does not flow into the into that blood vessel that leading to your penis, then you cannot have any erection. You need to have blood running down into your penis to have erection. So what happens if cholesterol is there? Cholesterol is is it has already clotted that whole blood vessel leading to your penis. So it is not the right thing to do. So good diet is another way to increase motility or sperm. So then we say,
to be used to to be to be exposed to heavy metal. Metal, you see, we're talking about metal. Like you put it down in this way, too much of iodine salt. Too much of iodine salt. Okay, iodine. The salt you will see when you go buy the salt. They say I is iodinized. It's iodinized. If if it is iodinized, that whole lot of that salt is that whole lot of iodine in there. You can as a young folk coming up, you don't too much expose yourself to iodine salt. Okay, that's not the right one. So what we do again? <clears throat> here you are. You smoking. Smoking is not the right thing. Drinking is not the right thing. Okay, smoking, drinking, that's not the right thing. You see, that's why you don't, it's not right. If you're drinking, it deplete your vitamin B12. Drinking too much, too much drinking, deplete your vitamin B12. You see, and vitamin B12 is very important, you know, for blood cell. So you cannot keep doing that. You need to be taking vitamin B12 and vitamin C. You see, when you have deficiency, of vitamin C and vitamin B12, you can you can develop low motility. You see, so in this case, the woman is not always the blame that she can have baby. Perhaps anybody that she come she come across a man, the man that she come across that man is the man has low motility, so she will not have a baby. Doesn't mean that she the one. Doesn't mean that she the one because men. As a whole, they will tell you, say, I'm not safe to go to the doctor. I'm well. No, 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 no. Until you prove it, you are sick. You see? Until you prove it, you are sick. As we walk in the street, we all are sick. Until you go to the doctor, the doctor say you're well. When lie you went to the doctor, the doctor say you're well. But if you have not done it, you're sick. All right? They say the man is not guilty of a crime until, uh, until proving you see, that man is innocent on the proving guilty. He's not guilty of a crime. He's innocent. But when he's been proven innocent or guilty, then now he can say that man is a criminal. So until you go to the doctor and the doctor tell you say you are well, you can you can you can you can take exercise, you can produce, you can bone. All we know you're sick. You are not been there yet. So don't blame the woman for not having a baby. On the other hand, uh, like the, the children these days, they start with, they wear tight, tight jeans pants. Have you seen that? The children wear these tight, tight jeans pants. They say it's a stretch jean pain and all that kind of thing. That is one of the causes of low motility. Tight jeans pants do not allow breeze to blow through when you even walking. Your screwdriver is squeezed by, that, by those tight, tight jeans pants. And as a squeeze, it's heated. Now here, you're wearing that thing the whole week, the whole month, and that all, that, all the jeans you got, that all you got. All day long, you're wearing that. Mind you, mind you, when time comes, the sperm will not be able to move because you have killed them with heat. Those tight, tight jeans pain have created heat and it, it, it warm your testicle enough that it kill the sperm cell. So you get sperm cell like that, you deposit the sperm into the into the woman's vagina. The vagina fluid alone. Because every part, <clears throat> every part of the body has what we call normal fluoride. This is the normal fluoride as a soldier. Every part of the body, in your ear, in your eyes, in your mouth, in your nose, we have bacteria all over there. But those bacteria, they are not bad. They are called normal fluoride. Those are the ones that are there to fight any infection. If you, if you breathe in virus, if you breathe in dust and other things like that, any, any bacteria in those, they will take care of that. You see, that's why other than that, we're going to be sick every day. But because we have normal flora everywhere, everywhere, even on our skin, we have normal flora. Our skin has normal flora because it's exposed to the sun. 
So that's why you don't ever, you don't every now and then you see your skin is not caught, you scratch it, it will be all right. Because we have normal flora. So the normal flora in the vagina, when you deposit sperm, though no, that normal flora will go around the sperm. The sperm got to be strong enough to move faster, to pass through those flora, to get into the, the, the Philippian tube, so that it can go through there and, and, and pregnant the egg. Pregnancy does not occur inside the uterus, it occurs inside the tube. Then the pregnant egg will come and fall down in the tube. That's the place it will be and, and to, to have food to eat through the, the, the lining, the lining of the uterus, who we call endometria. Okay? The endometrium, it will grow. The endometrium has a lot of blood vessel, a lot of blood vessel. Okay? And in a woman, whole body, the whole body, when that lady, when a woman die, let me tell you this, when a, when a woman die, after two weeks, they bury the woman, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, they go and dig out that grave, all other part will be all right. The only one that will be left with blood, you see, will be the womb of the woman. The womb of the woman. That's why when some people die, when the woman die, they tell you, say, oh, the woman died two years, two months, two this and that. It takes a long time for the womb to get rotten. That's the place medical people go and take specimen. They dig the grave and take specimen from right there. All right? So, the womb, the pregnancy takes it take place in the in the in the in the tube, then the pregnant air come and lie down in the womb, then the endometrium feed that pregnant air with blood, with water, with food and everything to grow normally. Alright? So when you are when the man is vitamin uh, B deficient, vitamin B twelve deficient, vitamin C C deficient, because he drinking too much, he will come out with low mortality. So when it comes to bonding between the man and the woman, a married man, the woman, the boyfriend, and the girl, or and the woman, maybe significant other and other and and, and, the, and, the, and the friend, you can't always blame. You can't always blame the woman. All right, don't blame the woman all the time. Do not. Do not blame the woman all the time. Always. Make sure that you are checking yourself in the fertility clinic. Go there and check yourself. If you are not checking yourself, you are not going to the hospital in the last six months. In the last two years, you are sick. Okay, I'm telling you right now. Majority of Liberian men, this is what they do. They feel I'm not well. No, no. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sick. I'm well. I'm not sick. I'm not well. No, no. You are sick until you go to the doctor. All right? You go to the doctor and let the doctor tell you, say, you are not sick. And now, it's proving that you are not sick. But other than that, you are sick. So don't blame the woman all the time that she can't burn, why she can't burn, why she can't burn. No. You see? You are sick. Go to the doctor. When lie you are to the doctor? When lie do you do your physical? When lie did you, did you check? On this side, all the people care for right now is your blood pressure, your diabetes. Blood pressure, diabetes, blood pressure, diabetes, because we know heart disease, blood pressure go down to heart disease. Those are the ones that are killing people left and right. Okay? Those chronic uh, 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 contagious disease, uh, uh, like AIDS and other things, they don't look at it so much. But diabetes and blood pressure, heart disease, diabetes, those are the things they look at every now and then. So the ice cream people all come because cancer can develop, you don't know. You see? So diabetes, heart disease, cancer. Diabetes, heart disease, cancer. Okay? Those are the things that ice cream. Hey, you have not gone to the hospital as a man and check on these things in your body. We will declare you sick. You're not well. Because you've never been there to check it out. How do you know? Your, 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 your prostate has not, uh, is not swollen because it's, it's cancer. How do you know your colon has not developed a cancer at the bottom? How do you know 
that you don't have cancer developing in the stomach because you go in the bathroom or you know you sit down in the toilet and go. All right, but you don't look at the toilet. Majority of people do not look at the toilet. They jet in the toilet and then and even the clean themselves, they just drop it in the, in the commode. They don't want that bad thing. They don't want to look at it. But it is good to look at it because if you tend to go to the hospital, they will ask you, do you when you toilet, do you look at it? Sometimes you see the man's stomach big in front of him. You go to the hospital and say, oh, look, uh, my toe here hurting. Okay, they're looking at your toe, but at the same time, they're looking at your stomach. So they will ask you, when you go in the bathroom, do you look at it? Do you look at the toilet when you toilet? You got to tell them, oh, yes or not. Sometimes you toilet, the toilet is white, like a, a white sheet of paper. And you got that big stomach in front of you. So that means the liver is not working. You got liver problem. That's why the toilet is not uh, 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 yellow or brown as it's supposed to be. Because it means the liver is not making bile. And bile is not being made. You know, the color of the stool is not being changed. And you got the big stomach. Water is sitting there we call ascites. So it's not right. Majority, look at go you men of you now today. Try to look. Try to look at our Liberian bishop. Our Liberian bishop, everybody got big stomach. It, it, you think all the big stomach that we see we, we, in our Liberian bishop, they are all safe and healthy big, big stomach? No. My Jordan then got trouble going on down there. Big stomach is not the way. You don't have to have big stomach every now and then. You see everybody got big stomach. Yeah, that bishop. No. That's not the right way. You see all the bishops, when you see Liberian, when you see government officials come in, look at the big stomach in front of them. Look at them. You think that big stomach is safe and it's clean, it's, it's, it's healthy? No, it's not healthy. First of all, they are not even eating, eating right. They don't exercise. They don't go to the hospital. As long as they don't, feel, they don't have fever, no headache, or no part of their body hurting, they well. They declare themselves well. I have not been, oh, I've been eating good, I've been taking good care of myself, and I've never been sick in my head, never, I've never got malaria. That's it. But that's not the right thing to do. Go to a well clinic. If you are well, go to a well clinic. Well clinic is what we call physical examination. Go down there, that well clinic. Because you're not sick. You just went there to check yourself. To see what is in the making. That's why you're supposed to go. Go in a well clinic. You see, if you go to the well clinic, it will be all right. Go to the well clinic. You see, more people do not go to the well clinic. Don't always blame the woman that she is the one that cannot born. She she got big problem. Uh uh. Go check yourself too. Maybe you got low motility. Maybe all the baby that you got, the woman getting for you, that some young boy that giving that woman the baby. Some young boy will be sitting down there just giving that woman the baby every now and then. Or that young boy will be coming into the yard to cut the grass. That young boy will be coming into the grass to, to face the light. That young boy will be coming to the, to, the, to, the, to the yard to face the door. Okay, the plumber can't face the, he can't face the camo. Okay, the carpenter can't face the door. Okay, the electrician come to face the light. All right. Oh, my man, go face my light. Yes. But when you when that man go down there now and did his work, when you go low, your wife pregnant again. You see? But all you know, you married the woman and she herself will not talk. You see? And when it happened one time, everything will be undercover until she will continue to have the baby. Three baby, four baby. My, all the baby will not be yours. They will not be yours. They will not be. We have seen something like that. Men marry a woman and they live together for I don't know, 40 years or so. And all the children they had, none were for the man. Because somebody is just giving this woman a baby. Because the woman wants a baby. First 10 years, the first five years together, the man cannot, the woman cannot be pregnant. So she said, Well, let me go try outside, whether I, I, I'm the one or not. She tried, bam, she, she got caught. She got pregnant. So from there, she just continued to have a baby. You see? It happened all over. It's too much in Liberia right now. 
in the Liberian community is too much because our men are always defensive. They don't do any check. They don't. They are always well. Our men, Liberian men, are always well. So as a result, they do not check themselves. But the thing, the woman, the guy, the girlfriend, the guy pregnant for them, the thing, this pregnancy is, is there. Many of them lie today, today, today. Many of them are staying there, sending these children to school. But those children are not there. All right? Those children are not there. No. Some of all the children are not ours. We got to make sure that <clears throat> the, ch the, the children that we got are our own. Did we work to get this child? Do you know if this child is yours? Do you actually know? Are you actually the father of the children that you got? Are you sure of that? Are you sure of that? That you got a viable and fast-moving sperm that can pregnant a woman and bring up a baby? Are you sure that you can do that? That is the big question today. So from this topic, you answer the question. Are you sure that the children that you got today, the children that you got right now, are you sure that pregnancy the woman carrying, that better than the woman got in front of her? Are you sure that you, the father, are you sure of yourself? All right? Are you sure of yourself? If you are sure, fine. But if you are not sure, start thinking. You see? Start scratching the back of your head. Because you see that this is me. The, 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 when, whenever a man scratches the back of his head, it means that he's not sure. He's not sure of something. Not, something is not straight. You see? He's scratching the back of his head. He's not, he not, he not certain or something. You see? So that's the big question we got to ask ourselves today. Majority of Liberian men, are we sure that the baby we got here today, the baby we got or the children we got, the pregnancy the woman carrying, are we sure that this pregnancy is our? Did we actually produce a viable, fast-moving sperm that can pass through the vaginal fluid and enter the Philippian tube and pregnant an egg? And that air grow into embryo, fetus, and baby. Are you sure you can do that? Are you sure are you you doing that? With all the big stomach you got in front of you, are you sure you, you can do that? This is the question you must answer for yourself. Sometimes you go and sit down and say, yeah, this thing, yeah, let me let me ask you. I wanted that, I wanted that. You see, when John was, John was pregnant, he said, I know what I, I even had any sex with that girl. said, think about that now. Because somebody is doing the work. And you just sit there and take, you know, and just get a result. The need just come there. By the time that woman born, oh, what my baby need? Oh, my, my baby need Julia Moses. Oh, okay, because you need Moses, right? Everybody... Julia Moses, Nancy Moses, John Moses, uh, uh, Helena Moses. Okay. But all the Moses we got now are they for you. Think about these things. Think about these 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 things. This is what happened. Because when time when when it happened like that, and you get that woman to be very, very, very angry. She said, you know what, I will leave you. When you talk about, oh, uh, uh, you, you're not carrying my children anywhere. She will say, do you know what or not these children are yours? Huh? All the year we've been together, you never lay one egg. You can, you, can, you can produce nothing to pregnant me. These children are for uh, 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 Pop Jun over there. Pop Jun sitting down in that play there. These children are for Pop Jun. And you think, Allah, go do DNA. When you go to do the DNA, none of those children will be for you. You see that? You have laid your life empty. That's an empty life you, you live. Empty life. Hmm? Empty life. That's it. 
And where you going to at this time? You old already. Who going to do you anything? You're not going to get anything. Just so all you got to do, just eat something good. If you had to, if you had to drink. Just go and drink and do something to yourself and, and be all right for yourself and, and you feel you feel good for yourself. You know, that's it. Because hey, you can you believe living with a woman for thirty years or so and all the children you have at the end of the day, none of those children yours. You see. That's why it is good when you grow up 2018, 25, go and do a sperm count to make sure that your sperm count is all right. Once upon a time, we all were going to school. All right? We all started going to school. Some of us were not even, were not even thinking about having a, a, a child. We were not thinking about having a, a baby or anything like that. No, we're not thinking about that. But this guy was thinking about a baby. But he didn't want to have a baby. So what he wanted to do? He wanted some money to pay for school, to pay his school fee. He went to the fertility clinic and, and gave them sperm for some money. <clears throat> so they gave, he gave the sperm and they gave him the money. When the people went to check the sperm, the father that the guy had, a low motility. The sperm can never help anybody. Can never help a woman in the fertility clinic. So he forgot all about it. This man went to school. He finished, he finished law school, everything. He got this fiancé. Now the fiancé said, oh, we got to have, have a baby. All right. Then he told the fiancé, say, you know what I mean? The time I was going to school, I, so, I, I carried my sperm and I sold it to the fertility clinic. I want to go back there, final. You got to the fertility clinic and said, we, we gave you money for nothing. The sperm you gave her that time, it, it, the sperm was no use to any human being. It had low motility. So they all, we just destroyed it. We wasted it. It had nothing to, it, 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 it was not a value to us. So this girl, and this boy had to go back and get treatment. Okay? To get treatment. And at the end of the day, that girl did not stay with that man. Because she wanted a baby. And here is the man. He already 40. Cannot produce a, a viable sperm. You see? What is a man or what is a woman? Born of your mother and your father. You grow up with not producing one child from yourself. What are you going to leave behind? Your father and mother left you behind. And what are you going to leave behind then? You ain't going to leave none behind. Because you ain't got none to produce. You ain't got none to leave behind. So, check yourself. You see? Check yourself. That's what you have to do. Check yourself. If you don't do that, it is bad. You see? Check yourself. Don't, that's what we're doing today. That's what we've been talking about today. Low motility. Low sperm count. All right? Some people already got it. So that way it finished. They already got it, and they already had somebody who born their baby for them, and they took that, they, they gave their name to those baby. It already done, all right? So they just sitting with it, all right? They are no need now to fix it, because you, they're not going to go back. There are many in Liberia right now. Many, 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 many in Liberia right now. You see? You see, young, young girl married to an older person, an older man, because their older man is a town chief, all right? And their town chief got all these young girls. Huh? Their town chief name is Peter. He got all these young girls. Now you tell me you think Peter is going to pregnant these young girls, and he is in his 40, 45, he there drinking king juice, he, he there uh, uh, not eating right, he do not even exercise. He all on the farm all day. Huh? You think 
this man is able to pregnant anybody? He will not. So all the children that the man got, where are they from? Did he actually give these girls the baby? No. That old boy ain't down. That old boy ain't down increasing the population of this town from the Tanchi house. You see? This is what happened. You see, man as a whole do not like truth. But I'm telling you the truth. This is what happened. The Tanchi got all these babies, got all these boys and girls. Oh, the Tanchi got fine children, this and that. Yes, they all need Peter, 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 Peter. But Peter ain't do nothing. He ain't do anything to bring these children up. Those children are brought out. They were put together by these guys in town. Okay? Those boys in town working, the, the Tanchi go on the farm. He go on the farm. And these girls are in the town to clean around the house. They, they have to wash the chan, tanchi uh, 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 clothes. They're washing the clothes. Some people cleaning around the house. All right? Those boys are around. They kind of have to wash the, the clothes. You see? This is where the tanchi got all these babies. So this thing happened at homes. It happened many, 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 many times by home. Most of these villages, all these villages we see, all these children you see that, oh yeah, they may you know, they, 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 no. All these children from these villages are not from what they said, the intended father that we're talking about. Even down in the city, even in this America right now, in the, all the married home, and women are the most, when they say women are not even, they, they are more than FBI agents. They are more than security agents because they are very secretive. All right? So we're just letting you all know that this is what happened and this is what has been happening from time to time. So if you are getting this and education, what you do, tell your son, tell your brother, tell your friends so that from now on, they should start doing it. If they want something left behind, okay? If they want something, if they themselves really put this there, then... Let them go and do DNA. Let the DNA merge their own DNA. Okay? That's all we got to say. So until then, we will see you. Today is Wednesday. We will see you on Friday. All right? <laughs> we will see you on Friday. Be, be thinking about it. Are those children that you got, are you the real father? Are you the biological father? Are you sure that you produce the sperm of viability? That's the question. When you sit down, ask yourself this question, okay? You got any question? Let me put my uh, my phone number over here, okay? So that you got a question, you got you can ask me right away, okay? Let me see. Let me put my phone number right here. You call me at the 215 number, okay? 215, call that 215. You got a question right now? Call me at the 215, okay? And so that we can we can we can uh, uh, discuss something. If you got something or you want to contribute to the uh, to the to the to the show? Go ahead. Okay. Other than that, I just be waiting for like few seconds. If you don't call, that means you all right. You understand it, and that's it. You see, uh, people who are guilty, they don't talk. <laughs> if you are guilty, you're not going to say uh, you you're not going to say anything. Whenever you are guilty, you're not going to say anything. You will just let it be. All right? That's it. <laughs> you, you, want, you got a question, call the 215 number. All right? Call the 215 number. Other than that, we'll, say, we'll stay right here and tell you, say, okay, goodbye. All right? We are just discussing uh, low motility in men. Fertility clinic. All right, that's all we're discussing. We're supposed to be discussing that thing and carry it back home to Liberia and tell the people so that they will know that most of the baby that they 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 they're doing something to or they sending to school are not theirs. You know, that's some of the thing there. All right, now so we would know. All right, and uh -huh. so this has been the best time to uh, discuss this. Okay, so for guys. We will see you guys on 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 Friday. All right. This has been the 
platform for education on Liberian radio and television network. Okay? So, we'll be back on Friday. Until then, fare you well. Okay? Bye now.